Hey guys and welcome back to This Is Living. We are at the beautiful Fraser Island once again and I'm going to be doing a rig rundown and a bit of a review on the Evo 2 Mitz Alloy tray and canopy. I've been wanting to do this for a little while but every time I've gone to film it we've added something new and different to the car. So I think we're finally at the point where we've got everything on it that we want. So I'm really excited to show you guys what we've done to this car and how we've turned it into our dream touring rig. Let's go! La, la, la. which got a bit of a beating on this trip when we hit a huge washout. But for the full story in that, you're gonna have to wait for this episode to come out. So won't go into that too much. While we're on the subject of bar work too, we have these scrub bars and sliders made up from the team at Kinsella Customs. These actually are available on our website now. So if you want some scrub bars and sliders that suit the AFM bull bar, make sure you hit us up. But absolutely stoked with how these turned out. They're really sturdy. Plus Kinsella also let me put my own little spin on it with laser cutting living into the side. For Masano snorkel and airbox, I went with a team at in-house fabrication. It was super easy to install. And the great thing is that even though with all the amount of rain that we've had in New South Wales lately, we've had no water get into our airbox whatsoever. So moving on from there, we've obviously got the Clearview Gen 2 mirrors. Great for towing, especially now that we've got our new boat. We've also made a couple of really new exciting additions to Black Betty, which I'm really, really happy about. First one is the steady 40 inch light bar, which comes with your two modes, which is your daytime running lights, as well as your LED high beam, which absolutely lights up the road with its width. As well as that, we've also added a wedge tail roof rack. This is from Tradesman's Roof Racks. Absolutely soaked with the customer service from them. Super easy to install. Absolutely no wind noise, which was what, something that we were a little bit worried about, but super quiet. It also comes with a lot of great features, such as your standing platforms, comes with max tracks mounts and heaps of other different options that you can add to your roof rack depending on what kind of setup you want to run. We've also got our new Drifter Bush Cruiser 1.2 rooftop tent. I absolutely love it. It's probably not the biggest rooftop tent that I've ever had, but it is super airtight, which means no water has been out again in there. Even when we have been doing our bulk driving through the rain, there's been no leakages into the mattress, so it's super dry every time you open it up. For our awning setup, we decided to go with the Darji Eclipse 270 awning. Absolutely love it. It's super lightweight and great value for money. Wraps around the whole back of the car as well as the front. We've used this awning in some really bad weather and it's quite literally saved some of our trips. When building your full drive, I think suspension is a really important part. For us, we decided to go with the Fox 2.0 suspension kit from Solve Off Road with heavy duty coils and this kit has been tailored to suit our needs and what kind of weight we'll be running on our car. It hasn't failed us yet and is super comfy and rides like a cloud. Setup. So what we've gone with is 240 amp hours of lithium batteries, 
We've got a 2000 watt red arc inverter and a 40 amp BCDC charger in there to keep our system running. We ordinarily do have a solar panel up on the rooftop tent, changed a few things around recently, so we're still gonna get that back up on top. But after four days of little to no driving on Fraser Island, we're still sitting above 90% there in our battery. So we're really, really happy with how our power and electrical system has been set up. Mid-Selloy Outfitters can provide a prefabricated four volt panel to suit whatever the application for your needs. It's always handy to have someone around who understands the more technical side of things, but back into the canopy build. So on the back here is what the boys of Mints like to call the trio of dips. I've gone with my spare tyre holder, my ladder for my rooftop tent, and my 20 litre jerry can holder, which I think is a perfect setup for me, but you can go with whatever you want really. You can run two jerry can holders, two spare tyres, whatever kind of suits your needs for what you're going to be needing to travel around Australia with. All right, so you've seen the passenger side. On the driver's side, we really wanted a dog box. Obviously, you guys have seen how much we love our puppies and how much we take them away. But it also doubles as a wet storage area. So when we haven't got the dogs and we are focusing on more spear fishing and fishing trips, it's a great space for storing all your wet, stinky gear that you really don't want stinking out your living side of the canopy. On this trip in particular, we've used it as extra storage for our food box, all Tom's fishing gear, his stinky wet clothes that we don't want stinking out anywhere else. But it has been perfect for that. It also is fully sealed off from the other side of the canopy. So it's perfect if you need to hose it out or you know, your dogs make a mess in there get the hose into it it all drains out really nicely it also does come with a divider that you can put on the runners in the middle we'll separate the dog box in half it also does come with a plate that you can just easily bolt on here to cover that window up so it does fully become sealed from the elements i'm absolutely stoked i went with the dog box option originally we were a bit worried that it was going to take up too much room from our living side but it's been perfect for what we've been using it for so the trade stuff comes with a few different options tom and i have opted for the 30 litre water tank on the front does have your little tap down the bottom here which is perfect for like washing up filling pots up making cups of tea it is bpa free too so it doesn't come with that funny taste that you do get with some water tanks mitzali does have other options that if you did want to go for a bigger water tank too they can put that underneath the tray but it just depends on what you want to use it for also got your flared mud guards and then you tape it under tray toolboxes it's perfect for storing like your extra bits and pieces of gear but on this side we've actually put our twin arb air compressor in there really nicely and it's really convenient for all that beach driving that you're going to do so you can quickly air up and get on your way. One of the biggest questions I get asked is what do bits do when your car does come with all those fancy new rear sensors? Included in this package comes a sensor relocation kit which comes with your bracket and the 3D printed cover. I haven't had any issues with mine, it's performed flawlessly. So if that wasn't enough space for you already, at the back of the tray you've also got your 1500 long trundle tray. It's perfect for storing all your tools, we keep our gas cooker in there, all your extra little bits and pieces that you need for your really long trips is perfect for that. I won't pop the bonnet and go into it too much, but if you had seen our previous episodes, we actually tuned this thing with Performance Tourists. It punched out a happy 200 horsepower and 600 new meters of torque. We just took it through to Gala Rocks and it chopped it with absolute ease. So I'm stoked with the power that this car has. So that's pretty much it guys. I've probably forgotten half a dozen things or more, but if you do want to scroll back through the YouTube channel, we actually did a full build series on this car. It goes into a lot more detail on all the different modifications that we've done to it. But if you do want to see us really live out of this thing and put it to the test, there will be a YouTube episode coming out soon of us here at Fraser bringing our families along for the ride. So stay tuned for that. But for now, we're going to go crack a beer, put a line in the water, and just relax and enjoy the rest of our holiday. But cheers, guys. We'll catch you next time. Well, I told you guys that I would forget something. The best parts. If you are interested in getting quoted up for a mint's alloy tray and canopy package, there is a link in the description. Simply go to that, fill out what you want, and make sure you tick the This Is Living box and they'll get back to you ASAP with what you'd be looking at for your rig. So you're probably asking, what is my overall opinion on running this Evo 2 tray and canopy for just over a year now? We have done some serious kilometers with this setup from beach driving to river crossings to heavily corrugated roads and not once has it failed us. While working with Mitz, I know that I can not only trust in their product, but also in the company behind them. For me, my car is my home on wheels, which gives me the freedom to pack up and travel to wherever I desire, whether it be hitting the tracks with the crew, spearfishing missions with Tom, traveling to remote outback destinations or an adventure to the other side of the country. It really does let you explore with no limits.